Okay, now I will answer some questions from Instagram. First one was, uh, why do I stitch? Why don't I stitch smaller projects? Well, to me, this one, if you compare to my hand, is a small one. <laughs> there are smaller, smaller even than uh, this size. But um, well, I do like uh, some smaller projects, and next year I will be stitching um, some of them. But uh, somehow I, I, I know I have uh, big projects and once in my life I said to myself why to waste my time for smaller projects and uh, keep thinking what to stitch next if I can stitch big project. It's not that expensive and uh, you're busy for at least uh, nine months and well that time I was fresh to cross stitch now you know you get tired from the same colors you get tired from the same picture and by the time you finish that picture you don't really like even to look at that picture i'm talking about myself if i'll stitch something for a really long time i don't enjoy the result this is now and uh, i don't know i i, I noticed that uh, most of my projects are big compared to other stitchers and maybe every single time I said to myself uh, that if you stitch bigger project it's not like you're wasting your time but uh, I do love small designs as well if they touch my heart I don't care what the size is I'll stitch it same about bigger projects uh, for example I don't have much uh, space now in my walls and uh, I'm thinking like where I will hand all that huge mirabilias, where they will be. <laughs> you need to have a castle for all my projects. But I still enjoy them and I like them, so I will be stitching them. Again, most of my projects are bigger, but I am not against uh, small designs, even like extremely small. Actually, my next one will be just then, very tiny one. I want to have quick result and sometimes I like smaller projects because you can have rest from your bigger ones and uh, you achieve something. It's like uh, something you've done. Instead of waiting for nine months, six months, you can have a result in one day or a week. Another question was uh, from Instagram, if my mother stitched. <laughs> my mother doesn't stitch and she is not interested in cross stitch at all. Uh, she likes that I'm busy with something. She, I answered before, she stitch, she does sewing and uh, it's like your hobby and she also she has some orders and uh, she, she's okay with me stitching. She loves some of my work and uh, I can't remember if I told you or no about one Lenarte picture she has on her wall. I thought maybe maybe it's time to change it because it's kind of old and to have better projects now. But my mother told me don't even think to take this down from my wall because her friends, her neighbors will come and will stare at that picture. And she said, no, 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 this is my picture. <laughs> That's why I will stitch her companion for that uh, Arabic woman I'll, I'll stitch uh, another one same style I had another question about linen which one I would recommend and um, guys I do love and prefer Belfast uh, I don't like uh, Permin for Another reason, not because I don't like stitching on it, I love uh, how crosses came out, but the creases, if I stitch on a, a frame, uh, then I would definitely like uh, Permin, but because I stitch or on hoops or uh, I don't have big frame, you understand? That's why I have to be extra careful and I hope this one will be fine because this is Permin. And um, after I stitched my first Mirabilia, it was extremely hard to iron the piece and because of a uh, wonderful framing lady she helps me to um, to make it straight uh, and stretch it uh, so 
you don't see any creases on my work anymore. Before, yes, uh, it was visible and it was not nice. For that reason, I like Belfast. Also, Belfast it's easy to iron. And um, it's your personal choice. You have to, to, to check, to have to try it on a smaller piece and see because some girls they love uh, stitching on uh, Belfast as well but uh, some people they don't like uh, Belfast because it's too soft for them my preference is Zweigert or Belfast I mean um, yeah it can be Zweigert and Belfast together but I mean uh, I, I like uh, softer fabrics because you can iron them and uh, there are no creases, creases after you remove your hoops or Q-snaps. And I like Aida as well, I have no problems if uh, it's full coverage piece and it's fine. So I've got a question from Kyle, hi Kyle, about uh, the bigger picture of ever stitch and uh, the most difficult one, uh, this one in the middle. And uh, I turn on all the lights and uh, it's daytime here. I just want to show you the size of this picture. It's quite big and uh, I don't know if I mentioned before on my channel in English because I did uh, tell people uh, in Russian that uh, because of that picture I stopped stitching for almost three years. It was really hard for me and I did not know it's not a proper chart and um, the quality of the chart was not good. I mean, you can see the symbols very easy, but if I was, uh, if I was, if I wanted to stitch this uh, picture now, I would never choose this uh, chart because there was like thousands and thousands of single uh, stitches and I think Hyatt is easier than this one and uh, I did stitch in hands before and this picture was stitched in hands and it was really a nightmare for me and only because of my husband <laughs> again I came back to stitching because he told me it's not good to have at home something uh, which is not done completely uh, and that picture was almost halfway. I show him that I was teaching before and um, I don't want to do it anymore because it's so hard. And uh, then I took another cross stitch. First time I tried to stitch two whips at the time. And uh, then I came back to this one and I uh, finished it. It was really hard, especially that part right there because the bottom one and the right side was easier. Well, it's pretty, but it's not the best quality I've ever done. And uh, it would not be here. I'll uh, change place for this picture just for you to see better the size. And uh, it's basically height or golden kite. The closer you come, the <laughs> worse picture. <laughs> You can see, but from far it's quite nice. And uh, as you can see, the chart was not clean enough. I mean, I would clean some single stitches because they are necessary. Uh, maybe I would, I would do it the other way. But still, this is a picture I spent lots of time. I stitch it all together for about nine months. Yeah, I like still, I still like the design. I, I'm happy I've done it. Uh, it was my experience. But now I'm terrified about even thinking um, to do Golden Kite and I have one dream picture I would, I still want to stitch and I will in the future, maybe not next year, but maybe could be everything, I don't know, I'll see. Maybe one day I'll decide to come back to this kind of uh, work and I will do it. Uh, next question um, from Nadisha. She asked me, 
I have seen you said that you use five strands on 14 count for dimensions. So do you do you do half crosses or full crosses? And uh, how many strands you use when it comes to half crosses? I'm still a beginner and I use two strands on 14 count for full crosses, but I see the fabric and uh, it annoys, and annoys me. Okay, first of all, most of the time, Dimensions uh, doesn't use more than three strands for full cross. And yes, on 14 count, if you use two strands of, especially in a kit made in the United States where threads are thinner than uh, threads made in China, you will see fabric through and it's not nice, yes, but sometimes they uh, believe me, uh, some, if you use original kit, uh, trust the result and uh, trust the company and you will see that result uh, just is fine. And um, well, try to use in three strands of, uh, of thread and uh, you will see it's much better than. But uh, yes, dimensions like to to use uh, five, six, four strands of thread for the half stitch and uh, nothing wrong with that. It's so much fun. It covers all the fabric and uh, your work is going to be quicker than doing crosses. And uh, Dimensions has uh, very, very easy instructions. Just follow them like we all did in the beginning before uh, YouTube and uh, internet. Well, maybe in your country you have internet before us, but <laughs> well, yeah, I started without internet and I could read what I needed. So don't be afraid of dimensions, kids. They are not as difficult as it looks like. Okay, next question from Donna Neal. Hi Luda, I purchased the seat on hoop like the one you have and love it. Can you show uh, what you travel, what your travel cross stitch is, all uh, the particular things you take and how uh, you pack it? How many hours per day and week do you stitch? And is there anywhere you don't stitch? Thanks so much, really enjoy your videos. So I'm soon going overseas and I'll pack and I'll show you every single step. I did make a similar video, but I deleted it. I asked myself who needs to see what I'm taking with me. <laughs> who needs to see my luggage? Especially when we moved from Buffalo, I made, I remember I made video and it was a very long video. I was Imagine you moving from one country to another country. Obviously, all your stuff, um, big stuff in the boxes and the most important stuff are in the uh, luggages. And we had six luggages, I think uh, four of them <laughs> were full of cross stitch. It was fun. I was just showing and it was such a funny video. I don't know why I deleted it. I decided myself who needs to see my luggages. It's like <laughs> the last thing people want to see. But I, I'll make video like you said. And um, well, I don't really like to stitch on a plane because it's uncomfortable. And uh, I said many, many times, I don't read as much as I used to read before. And I was... Um, book maniac <laughs> and uh, now I don't like that I don't um, read as much as I used to or at least study something you know I always study something um, but I don't have inspiration now as I used to have before and uh, well I stitch pretty much everywhere even my, my last point was a uh, coffee shop. I stitch in a coffee shop. It was, I think it's the last place I thought I will ever stitch. But I did stitch there. Because I had to wait Daniel from the... 
he was uh, in some place for kids and I was waiting for hours and hours and I decided, no, I'm gonna stitch here and I like it. <laughs> How many hours I stitch per day? It's really difficult to say because I uh, sometimes will come home for 20 minutes, I will stitch. Even if I have 10 minutes, I'll stitch because everything is ready. <laughs> everything is on my couch. I just need to stitch a little bit. I don't like when I have like five minutes to stitch, but I still will stitch. And yeah, altogether, I probably stitch five hours, maybe less because I spend time on my phone. I spend time on something else, helping Daniel with homework. When, when I can, even when I record video, I'm stitching, as you can see. <laughs> I stitch when I go visit my mom because she used to see me stitching and I can spend more time when I'm with my cross stitch. This weekend I have to go visit her because we don't see each other often and we live 20 minutes away from each other. Okay, next question. Dear Miss Luda or oh, Mrs. I keep confusing these two things. One is before you get married, another one when you get married. <laughs> Have you ever stitched a dimension kit with a black fabric and tiny cross stitches? Uh, gauge is one square inch, takes about an hour. I'm going to the Scarlet Wizard, one store done after 10 days. Well, you're pretty much fast. And... Uh, I did stitch uh, kids on a black fabric a few times, but they were not dimensions. They were uh, from other companies. But uh, yes, I have experience with a uh, black. Uh... Oh no, I, I did stitch dimensions as well, but smaller ones, not not the big one. Yeah, many many times I stitch my uh, butterfly. Uh, I stitch uh, two golden nuggets. I, what else I stitch? Yeah, I, I stitch bigger ones as well. I mean, not dimensions, but uh, big di um, big kids uh, on 18 count. Ada, it's fine. Nothing wrong with that. You just have to have perfect light. Nothing different, same crosses. Yeah, it's a little bit harder to see, but your eyes get used. Do it. I hope you will see what I'm doing. And uh, yeah, some people put some uh, white uh, piece of uh, cloth or uh, fabric, I don't know, something white under, so you can see holes better. But I find out it's not helping me much. So instead of having this unnecessary stuff, I just use perfect lights. Some thread, this thread is sometimes don't behave himself well and I have some stuff outside my beads next question uh, hey there Luda how did you meet your husband how long you have you two been married. You two always seem like uh, you have a grand old time together. Uh, it's it's a long story how we met. I'll tell you another video because really it, it will take uh, maybe we will together. Um, we'll tell you the story, and my husband will come back. He's now almost a week away from me, from us. Miss him so much. Next one, what do you do for work? I work with my husband, we have a company, design hotels and restaurants. Okay, next question, I'm a director of the company, <laughs> but I do everything, believe me. Uh, honestly, my main question is, how do you stitch so fast? Really thought I wanted to tell you, thank you for being such an inspiration and helping me 
uh, get my stitching back back. I look forward to all your videos. Even thought I can't understand Russian, I still love looking at all your uh, pretties. Thank you again. Thank you for questions. Guys, thank you very much. I forget to answer every single one. Thank you. Uh, well, I don't believe me, I am not the fastest teachers, teacher. There are girls who I don't know how they stitch. I think, I think they have people who help in them. Believe me, <laughs> I'm not lying. It's just insane. Some people on Russian floss tube, uh, I don't, I really, I, I think I spend so much time with a cross stitch, but uh, I don't even stitch half what they stitch. Not even sort, probably. Well, I need to figure out this one, sorry. Um, yeah, so just time. We all need time to stitch. If you don't have time to stitch, you wouldn't be able to stitch fast. The um, limit of our speed and the rest is time. And... Uh, I'm glad that you have your stitch bug, uh, bug because I know how it feels like. I just said uh, in a previous uh, question, I've lost my stitching bug for three years because of one picture. And I'm glad I'm back because it was a passion of my life. And uh, I'm happy with the crosses again. It's always nice to have a hobby. People are happier when they have hobby. And they don't uh, depress often as other people. Okay. And thank you for watching my Russian videos. Thank you. <laughs> That's why I started my English videos because I felt so uh, bad for people who has to watch me on um, watch my Russian videos. And I know I can speak a little bit of English and <laughs> I could have just record videos in English, but thanks to Maureen as well, because she's the one who keep commenting my videos, uh, under my videos and uh, I like, I need to make videos in English. Can you please do more videos in English? Next question. Well, I tried one in English, one in Russian and... Uh, as long as you'll be watching it, <laughs> I'll make them. Next question. Uh, do you always do two threads over one square when you do in skin tones uh, on mirabilia designs? And um, is it personal preference or do the patterns call for that when stitching on larger count fabric? I would like to see the baker's wife, but not sure if my eyesight is up for the task. Also, uh, do you know of a place to get your travel stand and hoops in the United States? Love your videos. Thank you very much for the question. Okay, this is actual question. Um, very good question for this video because as you can see, I have my skin first time stitched uh, two over two. Uh, why do I like? Because um, I made a video, uh, I don't know if I show this in um, in English or no, uh, but maybe I should repeat it. And uh, I first, before started stitching Mirabilias, tried to stitch the same face of uh, Aphrodite with a um, crosses and <clears throat> with the crosses two over two and half crosses uh, two over one sometimes i do one over one depends on the skin depends on the design um it's so funny my husband just called me he like you never available you never available i told him that i'm recording video where is my needle right here I'm like you want me to work <laughs> because I'm always running around and he's in Asia it's uh, four o'clock in the morning there now and here is almost 10 I put Daniel to bed I'm stitching and then I go to bed as well 
Yeah, I watch a very nice movie on Netflix, but I will talk about this later after I answer the question. So, I uh, when I stitch both faces uh, just with different techniques, I uh, realize uh, that uh, one one over one or two over one is softer, and I like it a little bit more. And uh, honestly, I could not decide what I like really. Crosses or half stitch. I asked my husband. He told me I prefer this way uh, with a um, half stitches. I'm like okay, but I don't mind. Uh, Nora makes uh, perfect skin for the crosses. Uh, about Baker's wife, I would really I I'll, I'll think a lot about that because a gray uh, skin. <laughs> well, she used uh, pale uh, colors. For the skin, not like um, I don't have uh, silks for it, uh, and doesn't matter if you use silks or whatever. You just have to go uh, one tone uh, lower than the original thread is. Otherwise, you will have darker skin. And I uh, will try to to stitch first on a small piece of fabric and see how it uh, works. I don't I don't like this magnet on my work right now. It's keep uh, catching my thread. Uh, I would try on a small piece of uh, fabric and then I will see. But I've seen uh, Baker's Wife in uh, on Facebook Nora Corbett conversions and uh, it looks so good. I like it. I like uh, some people stitch on a, stitching her on a 40s count. And it's also super cool, but I don't know if I'm there yet. I would like to stitch something on 40s count because uh, it's saving your space on a wall. <laughs> and it's just fun. It's different. Um, yeah, I'm going to stitch Baker's wife as well. I hope I will not lose my appetite for her when uh, she will arrive. But... Um, I have not decided yet on which kind of fabric. I might will stitch on this fabric as well as um, English roses. And English roses, guys, I I check many many pictures. I was deciding what to do uh, because I like her with the crosses because of her style, because it's a little bit different design and she's completely different with. Uh, Half stitches, completely different. I don't know. I just like her with crosses more, a little bit more. So I don't have. Just try to keep uh, having knots. Start annoying me. But sometimes when you take a longer thread, it's really difficult to stitch with. Yeah. Uh, English roses, I prefer more with crosses, and uh, not only because of the, the reason, but because of that uh, part right here. As you can see, I usually will, uh, the reason I'm stitching with uh, half crosses, not to see that uh, border between crosses. So I make it smooth, don't see that angles. Otherwise, what's the point to do with uh, half stitches if you see crosses? I did not know how to to be with this uh, situation, and that's why I like. Okay, let me make it with the crosses, and I like it, and it's much faster. It saved my time, and I enjoy very much. This design is amazing, not just the way it looks and uh, the way it feels when you stitch it. About my stand, you can go. Uh, I'll leave uh, in the description box box uh, name of the company where, where I get my hoop or hoop stand and uh, they deliver all over the world my friend just got uh, the same stand I have in the United States and uh, it's fast I mean two three weeks you can get it from wherever they are yeah I'm completely happy with the stand if you need to ask questions, ask them, because different stands, uh, I don't know all of them. 
I know for a fact that I like this one so much. I can I can stitch with this stand everywhere. I take I put it in my handbag and I carry it with me to the park. Yeah, it's 10 o'clock. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, guys, because I promised uh, Paul to call back. So we can chat chat with him. Ah, about the movie. Let me tell you uh, quickly about the movie. Oh, that's why I delay with the video. That's why I'm so late. So I was watching that uh, TV show. It's actually a documentary, but they make uh, some series called The Devil Next Door on Netflix. Uh, maybe you can see documentary on... Um, youtube as well i don't know if uh, it's available on youtube but uh, maybe a different way uh, just the history is the same and appears uh, a guy the main hero i saw his birth certificate and he was born uh, in my area where i live not exactly in the city um, we don't have like states we have for a city and villages so he was born next to the, uh, my city in a village but i would advise you to watch this video uh, not video movie uh, tv show or whatever i i love this kind of uh, documentaries where is a history and uh, it's real it's not fiction um yeah that's why I couldn't make video before. But again, because I come and go home during the day. Some parts I record during daytime and some parts I record now. I will also record a video where I will uh, recommend you some floss tubers. Or maybe videos I love to watch. I don't watch now floss tube because um, I overwatch it and I don't want to spoil my feelings about floss tube. That's why I'm watching more other stuff. But I'll make this video where I'll be stitching with a thread, different design. I just don't have, I don't want to change any design right now because I want to finish English roses and uh, you will see better picture in front of you. I mean, I don't think you can see my beads right now. And um, then I will uh, edit that video. I will add some uh, purchases with my boxes. Because I recorded it a while ago, still need to edit it. That is for my future. And I will show you, hopefully I will show you the design ready in the Tomorrow, after tomorrow, I don't know when I will have time to record the video. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Thank you for subscribing me, for watching my channel, for all your questions. Thank you very much. I hope I answered to all of them. Of course, I triple check questions from Instagram, questions from um, post and everywhere. I hope I did not forget anyone. And I'll see you very, very soon. Bye-bye. So let me continue answering your questions. Next question from Las Il. I really love to watch your perfect crosses. Someday I'll do them exactly as you. Questions. How do you do to tend the linen in a hoop and it doesn't pull out? And what about the marks on the uh, marks that the hoop made and looks like permanently? How do you do to put the hoop and catch parts, parts that are already done? Hope it makes sense. Greetings from Mexico. Uh, so, I just answered the question about uh, fabric I like to use and uh, another reason why I prefer uh, Belfast um, because I'm talking about linen. Uh, because it doesn't leave marks on, from my hoops or um, cue snap and I'm using old trick I've seen long time ago but because I wasn't stitching on um, on this kind of fabric for a long time actually it's my I'm doing pinning now I hope you can see 
um, my first mirabilia was uh, Gypsy M M Queen, and she was on a Witchel fabric, which is uh, the same like this one, and uh, it does uh, leave marks. I mean, if you put it in a hoops, if you don't use stent or scroll frame, uh, then you gonna see all that stuff. Uh, I tried to use iron and I iron like many many times all that uh, marks would not go away and uh, only stretching helped me to get rid of uh, that uh, marks well it's impossible to see anything right now I don't know that's why I don't like uh, to stitch on this kind of fabrics and um, how to stretch uh, to make them tense? I use my uh, hands <laughs> and uh, make them perfect. Like with the time, it it it's not as as um, tense as in the beginning. That's why I keep uh, stretching again. But um, it's fine. I mean, I uh, use this uh, tissue where I put. Uh, let me put it back. Uh, you can see the tissue right here, all over my Q-snaps inside. It helps to have uh, fabric, uh, to make fabric uh, as tense as I like. Uh, and you should try this uh, method, and uh, you will see. Otherwise, uh, I'll, I'll never achieve uh, same tense as I have now without. Uh, having tissue also i can put a fabric you can put any fabric you like uh, if i have lots of fabric at the end it, in one end i uh, i just uh, fold it a couple of times and then i uh, use it instead of tissue but only from one side or two sides depends